China. China. I get it. In this modern world, we're all our own personal brand, so you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta fucking hustle to get all those likes and retweets, and, uh, you know, all the ad revenue and book sales. You know, I'm, I'm not here to knock anybody's hustle. Actually, no, wait, that's bullshit. The entire point of this video is for me to make fun of people's stupid, pathetic hustle. You know, you click on absolutely any tweet that Donald Trump ever makes, and you're bound to see this fucking parade of, uh, desperate, attention-starved rants from verified Twitter accounts, you know, breaking up uh, what they think is a brilliant point across fucking 30 fucking 100 character, 140 character tweets. It's a phenomenon that I've always noticed, but I never really thought that much about until I saw this tweet from that no fact on Twitter. I hate reading the replies to Donald Trump's tweets. Always one fucking verified account going on a one-man boar crusade. You know, a one-man boar crusade is probably the best fucking way to put this, because whenever you look at these tweets and you see these massive several tweet long rants, there's never anything actually insightful or new about it, nothing that hasn't been said before or debated about, but this isn't really about, you know, making actual points or expressing things that are important to hear, because if it was, you would find a better format than fucking tweets, than a fucking taking what might be an article and breaking it up into 140 character bits. This is about being fucking seen. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to shit on people who reach out to uh, politicians and celebrities on Twitter because one of the cool things about that platform is it's, like, it's so open that you could potentially have a conversation with someone where you would never have that opportunity on any other medium. That's a cool thing about Twitter, but what I want to shit on is this particular strategy that I just find for some reason just it feels so incredibly phony and obnoxious to me. You know, Donald Trump tweets something and all these verified accounts just swarm in, replying to themselves over and over again, you know, verified accounts for people that you've never fucking heard of, because for some reason, if you've ever pushed pen to paper, Twitter thinks you're fucking famous or something, you know, I guess it's kind of like how some people think if a band's ever been on tour before, they must be famous, that's how Twitter is with anybody who's ever fucking written anything, no matter how insignificant. What I think it is, is that these people, they're all trying to go viral or wind up on one of those fucking, uh, think pieces that are like, epic takedown of Donald Trump on Twitter, blah, 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 because I think, I remember the first time I ever really noticed this phenomenon was, uh, it was somebody replying to him making fun of or complaining about Saturday Night Live, and it had this big long rant in response, and then there was an article, epic takedown of Donald Trump's Saturday Night Live rant or whatever. Now everyone is trying to imitate the woman who did this. You know, he tweets fucking absolutely anything, and then all these fucking leeches swarm in like a bunch of fucking ambulance chasing lawyers. They all want to be the subject of the next thing piece that's like, oh my god, yes, yes, so much this. Oh my god, these tweets are giving me life. I love this. All of this. They want to bask in that fucking viral sunlight. Bunch of desperate used car salesmen. Oh, give old Gil a retweet. My wife's gonna leave me. Let's take a look at some of these fucking tweets. Alright, jobs are returning. This is a pretty new one. Jobs are returning. Illegal immigration is plummeting. Law, order, and justice are being restored. We are truly making America great again. Alright. So now we got this William Legate guy. Uh, this dude is like the reigning fucking champ of the fucking Donald Trump tweet notification squad. Like, I see this guy pop up on every single fucking one. Trump fact check. And I don't really care about the substance of anything these people are saying because really, this isn't meant to be a pro or anti-Trump rants or whatever the fuck. This is just pointing out this obnoxious self-promotion tactic. He's got his little infographic here. He's got his Backstreet Boys headset. That's how you know he's legit. Fucking Martin Shkreli's long lost twin brother. Illegal immigration is plummeting. Dude made a fucking poll inside his fucking own replies. And we got this guy. Uh, at least this guy though, it's like in context. At least this fucking William Legate guy though, you can see it's in context of what was said. A lot of these guys come with like pre-prepared rants, like got the fucking notifications ready to go. It's like any big YouTuber, they um they have these people who show up if you get there early, they're like, oh notification squad. Donald Trump has a fucking notification squad. Alright. 
Cole Ledford. You are destroying this country. You have the lowest approval rating, blah, 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 something, something, golf trips. Your administration's in bed with the Russians. This dude, yeah, he had his fucking notifications ready to go. And it's like, yeah, epic takedown. Yeah, this guy is talking about fucking uh, Putin. You know, he, this another dude with a fucking pre-prepared fucking Trump rant. Uh, six fucking replies long. Joseph Amodeo, you're bringing back jobs that are disappearing, coal will be replaced by new energy. I actually do agree with that, but that's not the fucking point, because this guy's a douche just like these guys, whether or not I fucking agree with him. Joe Papp, this is another dude that's always in these fucking replies. I think this dude is like a, a fucking bike rider. He's, he's verified for riding bikes, this motherfucker. Yeah, this dude needs a verification badge, you know, because someone's gonna fucking impersonate him. Look at every motherfucker with a verified badge going on these long fucking rants across multiple tweets. Like, what is this? This, uh, you know what it reminds me of? It's like fucking, um, at some point, I remember Keemstar, he was talking about these guys who, like, they'll reply to him with video things constantly. He was calling, like, the modern equivalent of fucking Reply Girls, which honestly, like, I don't necessarily agree with that. A lot of these guys that he was talking about, I actually enjoy their content. In fact, I enjoy their content more than I enjoy his content, but still, you know, this is a very similar, obnoxious tactic. Alright, let's look at another one. One by one, we are keeping our promises. On the border, on energy, on jobs, on regulations, big changes are happening. Joseph Amadeo, once again, no you're really not. Muzzle blam stop, blah 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 blah. Oh, damn, this is a long one, Joseph Amadeo. Oh, they got the clap tweet. Yeah. Epic takedown. Epic takedown. Robert McGuire, that's a new one. Oh, but this is a long one too. Oh, there we go. A boy William Legate. Got a real he's like you know what you know why he's the king of the fucking Donald Trump notification squad? Because he has the longest fucking rants. Pony Paz Snacky, Mike P. Williams, I think I saw that guy in there before. Yeah, these are all like it's always like the usual fucking suspects. They could probably have like their own like Discord chat that they go in to like plan their fucking Trump notification tweet party. Alright, let's look at another one. Economic confidence is soaring as way. Well. Oh, it's our boy William Legate again with his graphs. Mike P. Williams, Rob Shujubadura. Alright, this one ain't as popping. It ain't as popping. Great one in Kansas. Oh, Joseph Rehig. I've seen this dude before on here. Yes, we know Kansas, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Joseph Rehig with another long one. Oh! Oh, no, never mind. I thought he was tag teaming with William Legate, but, uh, you know, he, uh,. They just look that way because the way Twitter draws the lines. But William Legate, oh, he was bested by Christopher Re Christoph Rehag on this one. Sucks to suck, William Legate. Yo, but here's here's like why William Legate once again is the king of these fucking replies because he has he's got the graphs, man. Trump at the golf course, ready with the fucking infographics, William. Rob Schubert, line number one. Democrats didn't predict the victory. Let's go back to April 10th. Happy Passover. Let's see how Happy Passover changes into a thing. We can get serious question. Do you support freedom of religion as protected by the First Amendment? Because Islam is a religion too. Yeah, I guess like sometimes like William Legate comes with like um, things that are important in context, but otherwise he's just like, bam, I got my fucking pre-prepared tweet rant ready to go. Let's see how many this is. One, two, three, four. Oh, only five. Only five. I expect better of you, William Legate. I'm getting ready to meet President Al Sisi of Egypt on behalf of the United States. I look forward to a long and wonderful relationship. William Legate. Let's see what graph you got for us today, Willie. No, he has articles. Oh, wait. Alright, I can forgive his lack of infographics on this one because he has an extra long, uh, like, this one is going closer on 10. William Legate, out of the gate, first one. He's always at the top. That's how you know he's the best. Alright, I fucking tire of this. I believe you get the point by now. Um, honestly though, all these people are doing better on Twitter than I am, so maybe I should fucking, instead of shitting on what they're doing, I should just imitate it. Um, next time I gotta have like a fucking million tweet long rant about Donald Trump, so someone could be like, yes, yes, so much this. Oh my god, these tweets are giving me life. Epic takedown. Anyway, until next time, everybody have a fucking epic takedown!